www.mormonfaithmarriage.com where I help Mormons in a mixed faith marriage build an even better relationship than they had before a faith transition. So for so many of us, absolutely nothing is more important than our families, right? Then, and the core of that family is the marriage. So it is perhaps the single most important relationship we have in our life. Think of the impact of a marriage that struggles, that it has, you know, a marriage where you fight, a marriage where there's disconnection. Think of that impact one year, five years, 10 years. It really adds up. There's a real cost associated with that. So many people in a mixed faith marriage struggle. They really do. They suffer. A lot of times just figure it out or they think the problems will just go away and they can resolve it on their own. And maybe it does, but at what cost? How many months or years of struggle and at what cost does that take? Now, so often people don't reach out for help, therapists, coach, whatever it may be, because they're afraid, right? They're afraid they won't get the help they need. They're afraid this program won't help them, that it'll be a waste of money, a waste of time. A lot of times they're afraid that they just can't be helped, that this is beyond repair. The marriage isn't helpable. Sometimes they're afraid that they can't do it alone, that unless their other spouse is 100% involved and on board, it won't be a successful endeavor. Now, all of these reasons are based in fear, the fear of failure, the fear that it won't work. And I think it's important to consider, if you're really in that place of fear, it's really important to consider what if it's possible that you can have a really great mixed faith marriage? What if things can really get better? What if you don't need to struggle for a year, six years, 16 years, even six months? What might be the long-term impact of fixing your marriage, really addressing the issues of your mixed faith marriage instead of just hoping it will get better? What will be the long-term impact in one year? in five years, in 10 years, really important questions to consider. You know, what's the cost of not doing something? What's the potential benefit of doing something? Sometimes it can take so much courage to reach out and ask for help. And frankly, courage is a necessary step before we can develop capability, before we can develop confidence before we can really develop skills to thrive in our mixed faith marriage and in our mixed faith family. So are you stuck in fear and worry? Are you looking at the short term and not at the long term benefit and gains of really investing in your family, of really investing in your marriage? Sometimes we get caught up in the short term the time and the money and all of that. And we forget to look at the long-term costs and the long-term benefits really investing in these things that are so important to us. One thing I like to consider is think of the money you spent on your honeymoon. And why did you spend that money? Because you wanted to connect, because you wanted to really build a foundation for a great relationship. Say it's the same thing when you have a mixed faith marriage. It's like a brand new relationship and it needs that same type of investment, that same type of care, that same type of commitment and nurturing. So if you're stuck in fear and worry and you're looking at the short term versus the long term, it's time to do more. It's time to reach out. Coaching is an incredibly powerful tool, incredibly effective for mixed faith marriages. It is life changing. Now it is not for the faint of heart, just for those who are committed, those who are willing, those who want to invest in their marriage and in their family in the short term and in the long term. So if you're one of those people who are willing to invest and really willing to be committed and go all in in your marriage and in your relationship and for your family, let's talk. We don't, you don't need to struggle anymore in your mixed faith marriage. You don't need to, build up years and years of frustration and resentment and disappointment in your marriage. We can change that. Let's talk. Your marriage is worth it. Your relationship, your family, all 
totally worth it. Reach out to me, mormoncouples.com. Click on work with Brooke. There'll be an easy way you can find me. We can set up a time for a free call. We can talk, find out what's going on in your marriage, where you are, figure out where you want to be, and together we can get you there. Back to love, back to connection, back to a healthy, thriving marriage. It is 100% possible. Let's talk. Have a great night.